Hey, what's up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology, and I know I've been absent for a little bit, uh, a good six or so months here. I've had some personal issues come up, so I decided to stop making videos for a little bit, but I am back in it again. I hope you guys will continue to watch my videos. If you aren't subscribed already, definitely subscribe uh, so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. Today I have a older phone, it is the Galaxy S8. If some of you guys still have the Galaxy S8, it recently just got the Android Pie update and I want to show you guys some of the new features with it and some of the new things that come with the update and show you if it's still running well or how the Galaxy S8 stacks up in early 2019. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. First and foremost, and one of my favorite changes in Android Pie on the Galaxy S8 is the new dark mode. This is super awesome because of the AMOLED display that the Galaxy S8 has. Samsung has been putting OLED displays in their products for probably around four or five years now since the Galaxy S5, I believe, or even the S4. Samsung has been using AMOLED displays for a while now, and with the new dark mode, it basically makes everything dark and helps you save battery life. I also just love the look of the dark mode. As you can see here in settings, everything is dark, very nice looking. Um, you also get a dark mode uh, changes in the keyboard as well, um, in the messaging app, in the dialer, even in the internet browser. So you get a lot of good changes with the dark mode. It really just looks nice. iPhone really, really needs this. I don't have it on my iPhone. Hopefully it will come with iOS 13, but I'm glad Samsung has stepped up to the plate and has brought a dark mode to the Galaxy S8 with Android Pie. There is also a new camera mode built into the Galaxy S8. It basically looks like the one that is on the Galaxy S10 now. Um, as you can see, there's kind of that cutout in the top corner where there's nothing, but obviously the Galaxy S8 doesn't have that little cutout hole for the camera system, but it does have a new app. I feel like this is a nice refinement. The app already worked pretty good on the Galaxy S8, but this just makes things even better. I've also noticed that my photos have been coming out a little bit better too on the Galaxy S8. So you have pretty much all the same features that you had in the previous one, but it's just more simplified. Um, more easy to use. It reminds me of the iPhone app. It's very reminiscent of the iPhone app. Um, you also have your quick settings right here. That's a feature that the iPhone really needs to put in their camera app. But overall, it's just a nice refinement to the camera and the Galaxy S8 still takes some really good photos. Also new in Android Pie is the battery optimization feature. So pretty much this is a feature built into Android Pie uh, from Google. It's not something that Samsung really created, but it allows the phone to actually look at what apps you're using the most. So it will look at, if you're, let's say you're using Google Play the most, let's say you're using the call app, the dialer app the most, let's say you're using the texting app the most. It'll look at which apps that you're using uh, and prioritize those and kind of shut down the ones in the back so that you can save some battery life. Um, I found that the battery life is actually quite a bit better, um, especially with the dark mode on Android Pie, so that is really good. But yeah, the battery optimization has definitely improved battery life on my Galaxy S8 over Android Oreo. Of course, if you haven't noticed already, it has one UI. So with Android Pie, Samsung brought one UI over to the Galaxy S8, and these are the same icons and the same kind of uh, the same kind of layout you will see on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S10. I'm a really, really, really big fan of it. Um, I think it looks really, really good. I think the new icons are kind of blingy, but I'm personally a fan of that. Um, if you're not really a fan of the blingy icons, then maybe this will not be for you. Uh, but I also really like the new multitasking buttons. It looks very clean um, and flat looking, so I'm really a huge fan of that. Um, also, the settings menu got a redesign as well as the drop down menu. So, overall, it just looks really, really nice. I like how everything is kind of uh, boxed off with rounded corners. Um, it makes everything look really, really good. So you definitely get uh, the new One UI with Android Pie. Another new feature in Android Pie is the Bixby remapping. So I know many of you probably hate the Bixby button on the side of the Galaxy S8. I wish Samsung would just really get rid of it. It's terrible. Um, I'm not a Bixby, Bixby fan. I'm more of a Siri, especially a uh, Google Assistant fan. Um, it seems like Google Assistant is taking over nowadays. But um, yeah, you can now remap the Bixby button on the Galaxy S8. So when you update your Galaxy S8, you want to make sure that you fully update 
Bixby, so you want to go into here and go under settings and make sure that it is updated all the way. As you can see, I am fully updated and you can actually go ahead and remap the Bixby button. So I went ahead and did it and one of the applications that I use the most on my Galaxy S8 is the speed test application. So of course I remapped it right to the speed test application and every time I click the button, the speed test application comes up right away. Um, unfortunately, I did not figure out how to get Google Assistant to come up when you do that, um, but I'm sure there will be a way to do that in the future. But I'm glad that Samsung finally went ahead and took a button that nobody really liked and allowed users to remap it on the Galaxy S8. And I believe this carries over to the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S10. Last but not least is the gestures in the new multitasking features. So as you can see, I switched from the buttons, which I personally prefer to the gesture system. So pretty much this has been available on some of the Google Pixels for a while now, but it is now carried over to the Galaxy S8. As you can see, you can basically go into apps now. And instead of having to click the home button, you can just swipe up and it goes right back to the home screen. If we go into Google Play, you can just swipe up and it goes right back to the home screen. So I find these to be very intuitive and very useful. Um, you also have your back button right here and you also have your multitasking menu at the bottom here. In addition to the new gestures, you also have a new multitasking menu. So as you can see here, it looks a lot more like the iPhone or the Google Pixel. Um, you have all your, you can swipe between all your different apps here that are open. You can easily close them all. It's, that's a feature I really, really like about Samsung. Um, and you also have some of your most recently used apps right here, so you can easily access those. But I'm really a big fan of this new multitasking menu. It looks really, really nice. It puts it with a lot of other devices nowadays that have this style of multitasking. And you can go ahead and just close them all really easily, like I said right there. So that's definitely an awesome new feature as well. I wanted to add quickly before I end the video here that the Galaxy S8 has been super smooth on Android Pie. Um, I haven't had any issues opening apps or closing apps whatsoever. I've had no problems. It actually seems more speedy than Android Oreo. Um, I really like the new animations. So I've had no problem with the performance at all. Sometimes right after you update, especially on any Android device, you'll have a bit of sluggishness. That's just because the, um, the phone's trying to get used to the new uh, software that's on it. But after a while, I've had absolutely no problems with performance at all. It seems to be smoother from my experience. In conclusion, the Galaxy S8 still stacks up pretty decently in 2019. If you can go ahead and find one on eBay or Swappa for a pretty decent price, I would pay around 200, 250 used. It is still not a bad phone. It takes great pictures, it still runs decently, and it has the latest Android Pie software. I know Android Q is coming out soon here. Um, so definitely go ahead and pick one up used. It's still a pretty decent device. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like up down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on all my latest content. You can also hit the notification icon to be updated right when I upload a new video. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends. Maybe some of your friends still have the Galaxy S8 and are not aware of the new Android Pie update. Go ahead and share this video with them. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a ton of new content coming out very, very soon. I'm off my break now and I'm going to be making a ton of new videos. Again, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Smile because you and technology are amazing. In peace, uh, out.